What's going on guys? Holy update. Now, I, I know this has been out for a day, um, but I just wanted to give you my thoughts on it. So if you're here to know what happens, I'll explain that. Um, but just to give you my thoughts on uh, a few things, which is kind of important. As I said, you guys know what my opinions are, and a lot of what's happened is very beneficial. Now, I'm going to tell you admittedly, I've not played it yet. I've just been doing some other gameplay testing behind the scenes, being a bit under the weather, but I've not actually played, well not properly, I've played like few games but it, I can't really give you an accurate opinion from that um, but I'll tell you the general thumb what I think and maybe what needs to still be changed now these are very good but there's still a few things like travellers that need to be nerfed outside the box okay and there's a couple of things why this is important because they've decreased manual go um, goalkeeper uh, movement speed and positioning okay but like if you're defending against a traveller you need to move the goalkeeper to help prevent it. So they've actually nerfed this, therefore it's going to be easier for you to sometimes score Traveller, or even though they've nerfed finesse shots, as we know, it'll be easier for you to score finesse shot now, because even the goalkeepers can't be moved to counter it. So there's always two ends of the argument. I think the biggest thing that needs to be changed, which they're probably not going to be doing, but finishing needs to be adjusted. I think goalkeepers are still too overpowered, regardless. Uh, finishing needs to be adjusted. That is the main thing. Because it's still easy to score Traveller outside the box than it is inside. But at least now we can reduce congestion in midfield, reduce sideline pressure to 71 depth. Now that's fine and then it's 71 depth. But, and this is the big but, yes, that's a 71 depth. But what it doesn't really translate to is, is that it doesn't affect... Um, so it doesn't affect the issue that finishing is broken inside the box because you can have a 1v1 and still miss. I'm not saying every 1v1 should be scored, but when the ball miss, miss the target. Now, this is my opinion. You should not need precision shooting for a basic chance. Yeah, when you shoot from a tight angle or you're shooting a cross ball from a wide angle, you should miss. I understand that. Precision shooting, you give the ability to aim it with skill into that area. That's where the skill gap of precision shooting should be. But it shouldn't be like a clear 1v1 and then you miss. I've gone over this a million times. But I just want to talk about my um, my my thoughts on this. <clears throat> now, this is the first one. More offensive-minded wing-backs. We're looking to change three and five backs. We're attacking high up the field. You can see the players will return to help on defence, but not as quickly. Coach the attacking team to make advantage of open space. So this is basically before patch. You can see there's running back like no man. And they're able to recover in this situation. Right, the second one in contrast, you can see they're not running back as quick before. I don't really have an issue with this. I think it's going to maybe promote. Is a five back at a three back a defensive formation five back probably, but I think this gives you the ability to counter against it. But this is like an obvious counter anyway. Um, this one's the most interesting one. With each other, we promote tactical variety when attacking through the center of the pitch. Central areas can have some foot congested in the pass, making it hard to find a passing option. Players may throw on the wings are now going to mark less aggressively, hence 71 depth being nerfed. To prevent over congestion in the middle, we expect the trainers to open up central areas for a bit more passing plays and creativity. Now, I think this is a really good thing, 100% really, really good thing. Um, the only thing I would say is, as I said, it kind of results down to, with respect, I'm saying this. A lot of the higher tier players, their issue is not really finding a space inside the box. Because, yeah, it's always going to be a puzzle. It's always going to be like trying to find a gap is one of the hardest things. But and this makes it easier. You still Finishing is still not in the position where it should be. So is it not just better just take the shot outside the box rather than trying to make the passing move inside the box? Does that make sense? So this is why I'm saying this. this what they've changed is very, very good. But there's certain things in the honestly, if they just change in our finishing, then they've got a really good system in play. Because then we don't have to worry about 71 depth anymore. We have to worry about finesses or travellers. You can still score finesses, by the way. It ties in with reduced sideline pressure, as you can see, reduced sideline pressure. This is going to affect 71 depth as well. This is the one that's a bit of a weird one. Um, This is manual goalkeeper movement, right? So this is reduced speed using the, the move goalkeeper input. Okay. If 
if this affected goalkeepers coming out because what is still effective is goalkeepers are very effective when they're inside the goal and so 1v1 and goalkeepers come out they close the angle too much and finishing is so bad as well and again it come, kind of comes back to finishing like if finishing was amazing the goalkeeper input is not important if finishing was amazing it doesn't matter if goalkeepers were insane because finishing you should still finish your chances so this is actually a good feature, but it's used to stop Travellers as well. This one. I mean, unless this is if you hold triangle, which I've not tested. Um, I just tested more of the gameplay side, but yeah, that's something I wanted to mention. Finesse and finesse shot plays a bit of enough. Um, you can still score, but you can't score as effectively. Uh, more authentic controlled sprint dribbling. This is why um, I kind of didn't want to teach control sprint too much if you look at a lot of my gameplay if you if you're part of the patreon you've probably not seen a video uh, apart from just brief mentioning of control sprint because it's not a feature to be very overpowered um you can't really exploit space as you could and i knew this this was coming this is why i never really taught it so now this is there's a reason why a lot of it, if you're part of the patreon series don't forget if you want to get better if you come to my patreon so patreon on for such no guys link down in the description but there's a reason why I don't teach a lot of this stuff. Um, I don't want things to be, how do I say, nerfed and then you're back to square one. This is the biggest thing we're trying to improve in the game is that you need to understand the basics of football. This is why, you know, people don't understand this, but like, I could get way more views, get way more um, out of it by just teaching mechanic abusing. But it doesn't actually help you become a better player. So those that use finesse shots and control sprint, can you imagine what they're going to do? And imagine people just using 71 depth the entire time. Can you imagine what they're going to do now? And then a power head has been adjusted. But yeah, that's just basically interesting. I don't really care about this, to be honest. Um, this is pretty cool, though. I like that. Um, and your celebration. So... That's something I wanted to mention in terms of gameplay. Um, a lot of these features are really, really good. The 71 depth is being nerfed, but... I still want to see a buff to finish. I just think, you know, this game has a lot of... When a game came out, the game had a lot of potential. And I still think if the right things are done, it can be made more effective. But this is going to make the gameplay more fun. But I just wanted to give you my kind of thoughts. I'm going to be doing a lot of testing. My Wiki Tactics video, I can't already prepare for tomorrow. Oh, sorry, not tomorrow. Friday, but I'm probably gonna now change that. Um, but I'll do some. So I'll be doing. Some, I've been doing more tactical testing as opposed to um, just seeing how players move and the fire back stuff like that, as opposed to actual gameplay. So when I get that sorted, I shall let you know, and uh, I'll probably let you know on Friday. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.